Hello there. Right, let's, uh, let's have a quick look at what we're doing exactly. So we're in um, Blender 2.5 Alpha 1. How exciting. Clickety click. There we go. Right, so this is going to be a 101 class. So um, I'm mainly doing this for me, actually, because I'm a bit of a selfish person, but um, I tend to forget things. So if I'm not going to use this that much, at least I can look back at a uh, YouTube video that I made to go, oh, that's how I did something. Cool, that's brilliant. Right, so <clears throat> first thing I want to do, um, if you're a new user, is let's go up to File and go to User Preferences, get that kicking around, and we'll do a few things. One, we'll go Turntable Style for the Orbit Style, because by default it's set to Trackball, and that's all good to go. And also the other thing I would do is select with the left hand mouse button, because uh, that's not there by default either. So let's go and do those two things, and then we'll all be happy, wonderful, great, fantastic, brilliant. Close that down. <clears throat> right. Um, so how do we navigate around the viewport? Well, let's let's turn the viewport into a shaded mode for a start. So down at the bottom here, we can see this. I'm going to solid, and if you hold down the Alt key and left mouse button and click and drag, we can orbit around it. Yeah. If we uh, use our well middle mouse wheel, zoom in and zoom out. And if we, you know what, I forgot what the uh, dolly thing is. What's the dolly thing? Is it that? No, is it that? No, is it that? No, hang on a minute. It's not that. <laughs> it's not that. It's what's dolly on this thing? Hmm, it's one of these. Ah, dolly is the shift key held down with middle mouse button. Is dollying left to right. Actually, it's tracking. I'm being stupid. Tracking is that. Okay, dollying is a zoom. You're zooming in and out on your user perspective mode. The other thing you can see um, on the left hand side, we've got this tool shelf. If you want to get rid of the tool shelf, it begins with letter T for tool shelf, so it goes away. And the other thing you might want to display is the numeric panel, and uh, that begins with the letter N. Let's press the letter N, and off that pops up in here, and you can uh, grab the end of it here and slide it out to make a bit more room or less. And there you go, how exciting! So, <coughs> really basic stuff, teeth tool shelf back again. At the moment we're looking in a perspective mode, so let's go and change that out. And uh, Let's go to uh, view, and let's swap that to a quad view. Quad view is control alt q. Ba -bom. Okay, there we go. And the thing I, I believe is happening here is if I change my viewport type to wireframe, they all change to wireframe. And currently we're looking through the camera on this. So let's go, um, was it uh, Control Alt Q again, back to one view. And we're looking for the camera view of the perspective camera view. So let's change that to being perspective. Now, interesting. Hold down the Alt key and orbit around that. One, it's gone back to wireframe. So let's change that back to shaded. Doo -doo, that's the wrong button. Hello. That one, shaded. And you'll notice it's um, orthogonal at the moment. Yeah. It's got no actual, it's not a perspective, it's an orthogonal or user view. So if I want to go and actually put that back into a perspective view, strangely enough, you press view and you press that again. So it's a toggle switch, it toggles between orthographic user view and perspective view. How exciting. And uh, I think that will do my first little video, just navigating around the viewport. And uh, we'll we'll build upon that with extra videos and keep it nice and short. So that is just um, quickly how to get going really fast. Uh, TV for tool shelf and the uh, numeric panel N. And there you go. How exciting! We'll do viewport splitting in a minute. That'll be exciting. So um, see you back for part two of Blender 2.5 Alpha One. This is me and me, and I'll be back later. See ya. All we need to do now is find the stop button. Oh, there it is. Hey ho, catch up.